Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today for Honey Bee Stamps and I am going to be sharing these two A2 camper shaped cards featuring new stamps and dies from the recent Autumn Blessings release. I am a huge fan of shaped cards and Honey Bee Stamps does amazing shaped cards. So I'm really excited to share the latest offerings from the most recent release. We are going to start with this autumn themed shaped card that is very much in autumn type colors. In fact, both of the cards could really be considered autumn today as they both have lots of fantastic autumn shades to them. I have die cut the main part of the camper from some Hero Hues sand card stock and I cut that twice once for the front of the card and once for the back. And then this pattern paper is from the Honey Bee Stamps Harvest Festival paper pad and we're going to adhere that to the front panel of the card. I didn't use the pattern paper as the front panel of the card as pattern paper weight is much lighter than cardstock and I didn't think it would stand up quite as nicely as cardstock would. So we're just gonna adhere that whole thing to our front panel of our card and then we're going to simply build all of our little layers for this adorable camper, starting with the bottom and working our way up. We've got this bottom strip along the bottom edge. I've die cut this from some orange cardstock. And then I've got the hitch for the camper die cut from some frosted silver Tonic Studios cardstock. And then we're going to have the two wheel pieces. So the background is white and then we're going to have the actual wheel itself die cut from a black velvet Tonic Studios cardstock. So it's another kind of decorative paper. It's not necessarily shiny, but it's different than a flat cardstock. Then we've got this great textured piece that goes right on top. And so it goes from this gorgeous floral to kind of a textured fabric kind of uh, pattern paper and then the orange. For the door on our camper, I did die cut the door from the frosted silver cardstock. I'm using a combination of lots of different adhesive today. Anything that's big, I ended up using my tape runner. Then anything that is smaller but big enough for just a dry adhesive, in this case when I say dry adhesive I mean like um, double sided tape. I'm going to use the 1 8 inch double sided tape. So I use that on the back of the door but for inlaying the window and the handle on the door I use liquid adhesive. And for that I actually die cut the door three times. Once from frosted silver, once from some light blue cardstock, and once from a black cardstock. Then for the frame of our door, that's die cut from smooth white cardstock that we will adhere around the door to help frame it up and really set it apart from the rest of the camper. That is going to mimic the look of the window which we will be adhering next. And that's going to feature a white frame for the window which ties into the white frame for the door. Again, the background is going to be that light blue arctic color I thought it really looked like glass and so that's why I went with that for the windows. Curtains in the window were die cut from the black and white gingham pattern paper from the Harvest Festival paper pad. This is a gorgeous paper pad you guys. I absolutely love it. Um, fall is my favorite. I love everything about fall and this pattern paper pad is stunning. So stunning. Really highly recommend it. Now, my, probably my favorite part of this little happy camper is the awning over the window. Look how cute. It has score lines. If you fold both of those score lines in, you can put a little adhesive on the back, tuck that back behind the window frame, and you're going to have this little pop-up awning. Because we scored the scored on the score lines and we're tucking it underneath, it will lie flat when you put it in the envelope, but it should kind of pop up a little bit for the recipient. On the hinge, I'm going to fold that in half. So this little piece here 
that has the score line in the center. This is the hinge that's going to adhere the front and the back of the card together. At the end of this video, I will be linking to my house-shaped A2 sized cards that I did just um, a little while ago, about a week ago now. Same thing. It's a little bit longer hinge in that set, but this creates that hinge so you can make a shaped card. You could also adhere this camper to a regular A2 sized card if you don't want to make a shaped card. I just really think shaped cards are really super cute and fun, and I wanted to share how you could easily put this together. Now before I put the front and the back together, I want to stamp any sentiment that I might be putting on the inside of the card first. So we're going to actually be using the Explore stamp set. This is also part of the Autumn Blessings release. And we're going to stamp the phrase, this world, and then the word together inside of our card with black ink. Our sentiment's actually going to start on the front of the card and it's going to read, let's go explore this world together. Kind of just a really nice, lovely sentiment. Works for lots of different things. Keep in mind, Honeybee does a fantastic job of giving us stamp sets that we can mix and match sentiments and build a lot of different kinds of greetings. So now let's finish that sentiment for the front of our card so we can move on to the second card design that I'm going to be sharing with you today, um, it, which is really just the exact same design. We're going to use some different papers, though. So I think these would be really, really cute and fun also as maybe place settings on a table. Wouldn't that be super cute? Um, I'm just a big fan of shaped cards. Anytime I can use a shaped card or create one, I just seem to be drawn to them, and I think you guys are too. We're going to take this Explore die now, and I'm going to use the actual Word die. There's a, there's a couple different shadows, and you can use them all together or use only one with it. I opted not to use any, and that's because I'm placing it on the front of the card, but I don't want to cover up too much of the camper. If you don't want to cover up anything on the camper, you could always stamp your entire sentiment inside the card, because remember in the Explore stamp set, you are getting this large scripty Explore word. So you definitely don't have to add anything to the front if you don't want to. I die cut the word Explore from that black velvet Tonic Studios cardstock. I had a scrap left over that's been adhered to fun foam with stick it adhesive. I love the look of a scripty word popped up on fun foam. So it just gives it a little bit of depth and dimension. I'm going to adhere that right across the center of the door. And then I have die cut some banners. And this is actually the Honeybee Stamps Angular Banners die collection that's been out for a little while now. It is the only product I'm using today that's not brand new. And I am going to die cut the layers from that orange cardstock and stamp the phrase, let's go onto that center piece. I'm going to stamp that with a clear embossing ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder. And then I'm simply going to adhere this to the other banner piece. That gives it a little depth and dimension. You could also die cut the background piece or the piece that you've just stamped and embossed on out of either a different color of cardstock or a darker or lighter shade of cardstock to maybe make it stand out just a little bit more. So our sentiment reads, let's go explore this world together. And I'm simply adhering my banner together and then in order to make this lie on the card really nice and flush, I'm actually going to be putting foam adhesive back behind the banner, but not underneath the entire banner. So I'm gauging where it's going to overlap the loop in the L in the word explore, and I'm going to not put foam adhesive underneath that part of the banner so that it kind of just straddles the banner nicely and lies nice and flush. So see that little area I've not put foam adhesive? That's exactly where my banner is going to overlap our die cut word. And there is our first camper shaped card all finished. Next, we are going to create a little bit more bright version of the camper card. Although the pattern paper we're using for the majority of the card, so for the, the uh, camper base, 
is also from Harvest Festival. Isn't that a gorgeous pattern paper? I drew out the kind of mint color of cardstock and then oranges in a citrine color from that to use for the rest of the pieces on my card. Just like we did on the previous card, I am going to adhere the whole pattern paper panel to the front card base. So our card base itself is from this teal cardstock. That's going to include the front, the back, and the hinge. So all of those are die cut from the teal, as well as this strip that's going to be layered on top on the front of our camper. We've got the citrine along the bottom edge. Again, we have our door die cut from the frosted silver. We're gonna inlay our window and the handle for the door, and that handle did not want me to pick it up at all. And we're going to just build all of the components exactly like before, we're just using a different color. Now I couldn't find a pattern that I liked for the curtains in the window, at least one that was small enough to work for this. The curtains are teeny tiny. So what you're looking for, or at least what I'm looking for when I'm die cutting something small like this, is something with a small pattern. And I needed something that coordinated with what the rest of the colors I'm using. This particular yellow floral pattern paper is from the Honeybee Stamps Spring Fling Paper Pad. So this also is not a new product, but uh, hasn't been out a really long time, but gorgeous, gorgeous pattern papers. Don't be able, don't be afraid, pardon me, to mix and match from multiple paper pads to really get that customized look. We've added the curtains, we've added our window frame, now we've got our awning from the Citrine cardstock, and we're going to pop that right there above our window, just like before. For me, this awning makes all the difference in the world to the camper. I think it just adds that touch of whimsiness and ob obviously dimension to the design and really finishes off the camper perfectly. We've also got our door frame that we need to add and then some sentiments before we put it all together. So just like before, the door frame out of the smooth white cardstock as well as the window. Now our phrases, again, I'm going to use the angular banners and I'm going to use the longer angular banner. There's a few different versions and I'm going to use the longer one and we're going to stamp the phrase this time from the adventure stamp set that reads every day is Anne. And then we'll heat emboss this with white embossing powder, die cut it with our banner, layer our two banner pieces together, and that's going to work on the front of the card. I did the banner first in this case because I was really kind of throwing around, kicking around several ideas for what color I wanted to die cut the word adventure from. And I couldn't really decide. I didn't want it to blend into the background too much. So I didn't want to do citrine. I'm doing that for the banner. Um, definitely don't want to do teal. This is a very teal or minty uh, color heavy card. And so I'm looking at the other colors in the top of the camper and I want to pull one of those out and into the bottom of the card. So I'm going to opt to do the orange. And I went through my card stop looking for the perfect shade of orange to complement the rest of this camper. Now I got a little bit of a liquid adhesive there above the window. Once dry, you can take a top, uh, sand eraser and kind of get rid of any of those little marks. So let's stamp the inside of our camper, then we can die cut our big scripty word and finish off the card. In this case, I am stamping the phrase with you so our sentiment will read from the front to the inside, every day is an adventure with you. And I think, again, very, very fun, great way to just send a great little fun, even thank you card to someone. Maybe you're hanging out with a friend. I already know who this one's going to. Um, so this is going to be a thank you card to a friend. And I 
just really love it. I think it's adorable and fun and you can use any sentiments that you have on hand. I'm showing sentiments. Obviously, we've got several new ones from the Autumn Blessings release. I've shown you Explore and Adventure. There's also Journey. Um, beautiful sentiments. Any of those will work, but you guys, if you have some other fantastic sentiments from Honey Bee Stamps, you know that they come out with fantastic sentiments each release, really, and you could put anything you want here. I'm going to adhere my hinge to the back of the card. I always like to take my bone folder and really secure this good. So once I have the front and back put together, I'm just going to go over that with my bone folder to make sure it's nice and secure. And there is my camper. Let's grab now our orange cardstock, again adhered to Fun Foam with Stick It Adhesive to make it dimensional. I think it really helps make the word, make the sentiment pop off of the card so it doesn't blend into it too much. Carefully peel that out. This is a pretty long word and you want to be gentle. And then I really had to work to get that to let, lie nicely on the card. When working with a longer scripty piece like this, especially adhere to fun foam, I think anytime, but especially with the layers there and it's sticky, so it's sticking to your fingers. You just want to take your time and gently maneuver those letters into the position that they need to go in. And I noticed mine was kind of going up at the top and not lying as flat as I would like it to. So I simply kind of carefully peeled it up and reworked it so that it looked a little bit straighter. Then I am going to attach my banner with foam adhesive right there above the word adventure with, or that foam adhesive again helps the banner pop up off of the camper as well. We have one last thing. It was a bit of an afterthought, but I felt like something was missing from my cards. And if you guys know me, you know I love a little pop of red on almost any card I make. Um, I would say probably 98% of the time there's some red somewhere on my card. It's just something that I absolutely love and I think it's eye-catching. I'm also a huge fan of little hearts or little stars on my cards. These little hearts are from the Rainbow Wishes dies. And I they're teeny, teeny, tiny, also something that's my absolute favorite. I am going to glue, glue a trio of these to each card. So it's a little bit more of a raspberry color on the teal themed camper and a little bit deeper, darker red for my orange and neutral camper just to go with the rest of the colors a little bit better. But we have a little heart on the awning and then two hearts at the end of our die cut word. And that will finish up our A2 camper shaped cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these camper shaped cards featuring new stamps and dies from Honey Bee Stamps. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Honey Bee Stamps video and we'll catch you next time.